Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to Elevation with Ethereal Eyes. I am Shan and welcome to my channel. I am going to be pulling on the OGs you already know. Happy Valentine's Day um, in advance to each and every one of you. I hope you've had a blessed and amazing day. And to all of my single dingles, you know what I'm saying? Don't you worry, I'm right there with you. And as a little treat, I would love for all of my goddesses to head on over to my Lash website where all of these gorgeous ensembles, like my wonderful lashes right here, the watch nails, but where my wonderful lash right here is available for 25% off of the original price. Okay, so take advantage because this is going on for a week and a week only. That was a quick ad. So I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be pulling for my spirit junkies, but after, but I'm obviously going to be going through the Archangel Power Towers first. But I'm definitely going to be pulling on my spirit junkies and say hello to Honey the Bear. Okay, this is the bear that I bought for myself. Okay, I am my own Valentine and I'm loving it. Okay, we have had a fabulous day. We have been enjoying ourselves. My babies have literally just been chilled out today. I beautified myself, I've done like a little self-care ritual and I'm hoping that all of you things got into the same thing. Okay. Okay, we don't need anybody to validate us, we validate ourselves. Okay, and the most high validates us, okay, with the type of day that he blesses us with. Okay, so in advance, I am a bubbly number three, and there's a chance they're gonna interrupt me. And I've already blessed the cards also, so let's just get into it. Okay, I got that one nail, the one disrespectful nail. It popped off, I don't even know when, guys. I don't even know when. And you wouldn't believe I just did my nails. Okay, well, you guys should know I just did my nails. I posted up a video about it like yesterday. Okay, but hey, at least I can do my own nails. Eh? Anyway, the Rhyme Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give us a message for the collective energy for today. For the 14th of February. Please give us a clear message for today, the 14th of February. What message do you have for us today? I'm gonna try for them not to drop on the floor because the devil the devil is a liar. It's not dropping on the floor today. Sorry. Okay. What message do we have for today, the 14th of February? Okay. What message do we have for today, the 14th of February? Okay, so the first card to come out is the emperor okay we have the emperor energy overall energy okay so this is just being grounded this is overall manifesting like we're in the manifesting of the coins we're in the manifesting of stability we're in the manifesting of literally just all of the goodness that you could possibly imagine right now the emperor energy is boss up mode straight up boss up mode okay focus on the foundation maintaining the foundation stability and efficiency taking charge of a situation with ambitious plans okay so this is you just maintaining your ambition and not allowing anything to get in the way okay let's see what else comes up we've got the ace of Raphael, yo a positive new emotional experience fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insights okay so this is literally a good look to begin the, to literally begin the reading with okay there's a lot of really positive things coming out at this precise moment i feel like you're coming out of a funk like you're just in this process of where you just literally turn straight boss up mode i feel like you went through like a phase to where you may have been in a funk to begin with um as like possibly kind of like similar to the last reading where there was just a lot of funk going on and like right now you're in a stage to where you are coming out of that funk and you've just gone straight beast you've gone straight beast mode straight boss up mode like i'm focusing on my coins okay earth energy Taurus Virgo, capricorn fire energy the yeah, aries sagittarius and air energy gemini libra aquarius but with the ace of Raphael, we also have water energy coming through okay cancer pisces scorpio so it says a positive new emotional experience fulfilling romantic relationships deep and lasting spiritual insight i feel like you're definitely tapping into your spiritual you know um tapping into your spirituality at this precise moment you got a justice card coming out okay which is wow first fight for justice and equality rulings made in your favor don't give up okay i just literally slipped out my hand it came out in the reverse okay it came out in the reverse so I don't know, let's see, let's clarify what the justice in the reverse means. Let's clarify that. We clarify the justice in the reverse. Archangel Raguel. Let's clarify the justice in the reverse. And the chariots. Wow, that is justified by the chariot archangel Metatron. So I feel like there may have been a lot of injustices dealt like um 
there was a lot of uh, I feel like it's to do with stagnation if you feel like you were being held stagnant of recent like you may have been feeling held back from something um, you know with the justice being in the upright I feel like it's a representation of injustices in the recent past you haven't gone through a lot of unfair treatment or being felt, felt like you were treated unfairly whatever the situation was it had you in your mind it had you feeling some type of way um, kind of kind of uh, uh, making you low on your faith okay with Archangel Raguel in the upright it would say fight for justice and equality is rulings made in your favour and don't give up but I feel like whatever this was it got you into a state to where you felt like you were on the verge of giving up but nevertheless you, you kept on going with the chariot you kept on pushing forward which is absolutely amazing and with this determination like with the chariot it speaks of the determination like and self control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others is like you still refuse to give up no matter how low your faith got so i feel like this it's a good result regardless of anything like this justice coming out in the reverse i feel like that it's about the karmic justice for others for whoever may have been directing this negative energy towards you okay we have decision coming out next okay and this is talking about you making a clear and cut decision that i don't care what what obstacles get into my direction my goal is my goal and this is the direction that i'm going and i'm staying there i'm not going to allow anything to get in my way you know you release yourself it says release yourself from that which holds you back a need to detox unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence now this is our this is our bedroom in the deck okay anybody that watches my channel you know that this one's always coming out but I feel like this is what you have been in the process of doing. I feel like you've not been allowing those thoughts to get in the way. I feel like you've not been allowing those emotions to, to override what it is that you truly want out of your life, regardless of anything. Like if you need something, you're asking for it. If you, if you, you know, if you want an inspiration or if you're feeling down in the dumps, you're transmuting that energy from negative to, energy to positivity. Okay. Apologies. The cards are going to keep dropping. I've got a small last table, guys. Oh my gosh. But anyway, we have the turn of Raphael, guys. It's looking good. The turn of Raphael. Okay. It's saying love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members and a happily ever after. I feel like right now, you know, you're just focused on your, like with the family situation, it could literally just be within your household, those that are within your household, creating a harmonious approach, creating a harmonious environment for you and who is whoever's surrounding you to whether you're a single parent and you've got kids or to whether you live by yourself and you've got pets. You are just creating this harmony within your home by all means necessary and it's kind of one of those things to where you don't you're not allowing anything to get in the way you're not allowing anybody to steal that 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 harmony from you if that makes any sense okay we have the queen of gabriel okay it says you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people so i feel like as you are going after what you want you are attracting helpful helpful people towards you you're attracting you know you are not chasing you are attracting that's what i'm hearing you're not chasing you are attracting okay we have the moon in the reverse i'm being led to just literally take the cards like this but you have the moon card in the reverse okay this is speaking about a lot of secrets having been unf unfolded or a lot of things that may have been done in the done in the dark coming out in the light coming big things being illuminated things that like for example this form of stagnation or anybody that may have had any ill will towards you people are snitching on themselves right now think like things that do not that are not for you are falling to the wayside okay so there's a lot of things that just that are literally i don't know if you guys have realized that there has been like an energetic shift to, to maybe you know your emotions you may have been going through a phase do you know what i mean or whatever the phase was i feel like as the moon has as the moons are changing within their phases i feel like you're also changing within those phases and whatever you felt like you needed at one point is not probably the same thing that you need at this point uh, you know there's a lot of awakening going on at this precise moment okay we have perspective um in the reverse okay so i feel like this is saying that you, it's now time for you to see things from your perspective if you if this is if your perspective like it's all and it's under the intuition card it's under the crown chakra card okay speaking of like the if your intuition is telling you for example that oh you've met somebody and you're you're not feeling it then listen to that intuition if your intuition is telling you that somebody around you within your circle is dirty then you can't you ain't got no host to be able to clean that person you gotta let that person fall to the wayside i just feel like your intuition is very very clear right now especially whereby the perspective is in the reverse and if you actually deep the card look upside down 
like it says perspective it, in the upright it would tell you to see things from a different perspective but then this is your perspective and your perspective is the right way so this is definitely encouraging you that whatever your intuition is telling you right now definitely trust it and don't allow anything to get into the way of your your intuition because nine times out of ten that gut feeling you know what that inside voice it doesn't steer you in the wrong direction i don't like things falling on the floor i'm not picking it up to be honest with you oh really oh like really you, you guys is really trying me there okay we got the nine of Raphael. it says make a wish dreams become reality a joyful time of life okay so if you felt like things was literally like crappy at this precise moment things are literally about to turn around you've got a lot of good things coming in a lot of reasons to celebrate a lot of positive outcomes okay your hard work paying off you seeing the fruits of your labor whatever it is that your heart is desiring and that you are working towards at this precise moment i feel like as you are working towards it you are manifesting it to unfold closer to you okay this is just straight up manifest mode you've got the midas touch at this precise moment okay you could be getting a pet possibly you might decide that you want to get a pet if you're saying you want to get yourself a pet go for it we got the lovers card coming out next this is archangel Raphael. make choices from your heart deep deeply emotional commitments and the power of love okay so if you are coming into a relationship at this precise moment and your intuition is telling you that you know what there's something about this person that is that feels right then go for it don't allow yourself like don't hold yourself back from feeling that love don't hold yourself back from being with that person don't allow any past um situations that you may have been through like don't make that comparison even if there are red flags uh, just literally deep the red flags analyze it and if it's something that you can work through then so be it but if it's something that you know is literally a what's that word a deal breaker then go then you do what is best for you it all just goes back to trusting your intuition i feel like a lot of people chose to be single at this precise moment because you feel like you can't trust yourself and that's part of the reason to why you decided to stay single you felt like no matter whoever it was that i chose to be with or whoever i tried to get with for some reason i seemed to make the wrong decisions I feel like through your spiritual growth and through just the growth, your overall growth, the time that you spent by yourself, the time you spent to relearn yourself, to unlearn certain things, to evolve, I feel like you've come into a, a place and come into a time to where you have the capability to make the right decisions because you are trusting your intuition. And if you are trusting your intuition, then my babes, you are trusting yourself. Okay, you are trusting yourself okay so as long as you are trusting in your intuition you are trusting yourself and most of all you are trusting the most high because the most high is the one that is orchestrating what it is that your intuition is telling you okay so let's see what else let's see what else is coming out divine spirit holy spirit what messages do we have for the collective energy oh the star card baby girl baby boy okay a dream come true believe in yourself the ending of a difficult situation okay you are literally coming into an amazing time at this precise moment okay you may be having an encounter with a celebrity with the star card you may be encountering encountering an aquarius or you may be becoming a star do you get what i'm saying like this the star card is absolutely amazing on top of that it's a healing card overall healing card whatever phase that you felt like you were going through that may have felt like it was like this never-ending funk i feel like you're coming into the stages of healing that at this precise moment sorry guys my son's started acting up because the tablet the battery died just of having a tablet so let me get back to the reading the right spirit holy spirit please allow me to be a channel for this message okay so where was we? we were at the star card i think i presume we were just at the star card so yes um the the color purple seems very significant so i think purple maybe the color purple is very very significant okay we have the 10 of michael coming out but yeah the color purple is literally sticking out to me so listen like embrace that color embrace it okay so we have a situation has ended and you are finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow put the past behind you okay if you felt like at some point things weren't working out i feel like now is the time for you to step right back out step out of your comfort zone and continue thriving continue driving continue doing that thing that you've been doing that has allowed you to continue pushing forward towards your dreams you are getting closer and closer as you continue 
persevering through any obstacles um the, the crown uh, the throat chakra is uh, speaking out so you could be a motivational speaker you could be a singer you could be somebody whereby you use your voice use your voice at this time now is the time for you to speak out now is the time for you to get loud and proud and now is the time for you to do whatever it is that you need to do in order for you to step into your purpose and continue stepping into your purpose because nothing can stop you right now you are an unstoppable force you on your own and that's the reason to why all of these obstacles like to come in the way and try to you know cause that form of stagnation you know that if you got haters you are doing something right you know that when you got people trying to put a spanner in your works you are doing something right it's not an attack on who you are it's attack on themselves because they are intimidated by who you are okay so use that voice if you got to check a few people check them blood blood all right if you have to open up your mouth and stand up for what is right then you open up your mouth and you stand up for what is right because i believe that whatever it is you are divinely guided to do so now is the time for you to do so the time is now and that's what i'm hearing we have the seven of raphael which came out it was in the reverse um, when it came out but in the upright it says time to time to make a decision be clear on what you want and take action a need for detoxification i feel like right now you are detoxing you could be detoxing bad habits you could be detoxing the um and bad habits fall under overthinking and jumping to conclusions and being around toxic people that you know don't serve your highest good but right now i just feel like you're going through that detox we are go we are stepping into spring it's time for the spring cleaning it's time to be releasing the things and the people in the places that no longer serve your highest good okay the people that had you left out in a cold with the five of aerials the people that left you on the side when you needed the help that weren't even there for you the people that left you in sufferation the people that all they did was take from you the people that made you feel abandoned the people that made you feel in this five of pentacles type of energy with the five of aerial it says you need and go through your current challenges alone help is nearby negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies if you found yourself surrounded by people that all they could do was take from you and in the time when you needed their help they didn't even have little as an advice to even give you they didn't even have little as a little penny to give you when you know that whenever you've got it you're always giving it those type of people you have to just let them fall to the wayside now is the time to be releasing them waste people you know what i'm saying Ooh. okay let's see what else comes out the divine spirit holy spirit okay what's the final message with the archangel power cards what is the final message for the collective energy Wait, find a message, please. Woo! They really trying to fall on the like you guys really like me to be picking things up or not. Uh, okay, hold on, I'm coming. Oh, okay, so oh, man, I need a bigger table, guys. Pray for me. <laughs> we have the night of Ariel in the reverse, okay? It, it says there is so much to accomplish make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind okay this being in the reverse i feel like you are already making those plans you already you you should already i feel like you already know that you are being watched over you already know you're being protected you already know god's got you if like there's so many ways to where god is showing you that god's got you that he's got you 100 it could be in the people that you are surrounding yourself with it could even be a stranger that's uplifting you and telling the words telling you the things that you could hear that that you need to hear at this precise moment it could literally be in the signs and the synchronicities and if you don't too know about it if you're seeing sequence numbers like 777 999 888 111 11 all of those kind of things is a sign for, from god to let you know that you are heading in the right direction you are doing whatever it is that you need to do you 444 you are aligned on your purpose you are on the right path everything that you're doing stop over analyzing it just continue doing it continue pushing forward and doing what you do okay but you are being watch over your ancestors your guides but most of all the most high has you okay so that is your confirmation okay if you're feeling like oh maybe especially when you were in the funk maybe you felt like god never got you you know god got you always sometimes we gotta go through situations in order for us to wake up i feel like even when we face depression it's about the ego because the ego is that spoiled little brat within us that wants what it wants sometimes the things that we believe that we want may not be good for us and sometimes god's rejection is our protection sometimes that person that we may have a crush on we can't have that person because there's something toxic about that person that doesn't align on our purpose whatever the situation is just know that no matter however you're feeling and no matter what phase you're going through god will forever and always have you god created you for this purpose for a special purpose for you to keep on persevering and pushing ahead and discovering who you are so that that gift that you have you're able to bring it out into the world okay with the night of Raphael, we have committed romantic relationships
trips and being swept off your feet situation and topics that make your heart flutter okay so you are literally stepping into the time where you are going to align with the right people whether being that it's a love interest whether being that it's the right type of friends whether being that it's the family members that 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 rarely even tell you how they feel about you that will finally be opening up okay but a lot of things to do with the heart chakra whereby you're going to be feeling loved maybe you need that reminder that you are loved i feel like this is that gentle reminder from the most high and from even the people that are surrounding you at this precise moment that you are loved okay you are 100 loved you are lovable okay and then finally we have the 10 of ariel okay and this is absolutely beautiful no you could be traveling okay you could be planning a trip with the 10 of ariel you may be planning that you want to travel abroad travel around europe if you're from america or travel around um i'm seeing paris like i'm seeing the eiffel tower you may want to travel to paris whatever the plans are you are going to get like go for it save up that money take that trip do that thing that you need to do this could also be a sign that you're going to come into an opportunity to whereby you may be able to go worldwide you may become internationally known but whatever this is there's a very there is so very much for you to be grateful for okay with the tenant of ariel is also saying that um, financial success and a promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life if this is what you are working towards you continue persevering and you continue working towards it because it's all coming to, to you so long as you believe it so long as you receive it and so long as you are willing to achieve it and you know that hard work pays off eventually never forget that it happens eventually nothing easy like nothing good for us will come easy so as so long as we're putting in that work Janua, you're gonna get the results you're gonna get the um, fruits of your labor okay so i'm gonna close this up and call two two spirit junkies and then we're gonna i'm gonna love and leave ya okay so let's get into the spirit junkies my babies i love these so much the spirit junkies the vine spirit holy spirit what messages do we have for the spirit junkies what message do we have through the spirit junkies let's see here. Okay, we have the more I honor my inner light, the more I brighten the world. I choose to shine. Okay, the more I honor my inner light, the more I brighten the world. I choose to shine. Like, what did, didn't I tell you it's time for you to get loud? Didn't I tell you that it's time for you to get proud? Didn't I tell you that right now it's about you stepping out of your comfort zone and shining bright like a diamond, okay? It don't matter about anybody. Don't dim your light for nobody. It, like I said, anybody that feels intimidated by your shine needs to fall to the wayside. But you continue to shine, okay? This is more confirmation for you that it's your time to shine, baby girl, baby guy, okay? Let's keep on going. Okay, we have this one. It says, I accept the gifts I've been given as a high service to the world. I accept the gifts that have been given to me as a high service of the, of the world. Didn't I tell you that you are gifted? Didn't I tell you that there is something that God has implanted within you that is special? And that's the reason why you're here. That's the reason why we face adversities. Do you know that adversities is actually part of the fruits of the spirit? Like sometimes there's there's um, in, in the fruits of the spirit, there's long suffering. And sometimes it feels like it's forever. But nevertheless, God will always vindicate us through that as long as we are continuing to be strong in the spirit because these are the fruits of the spirit and we are strong and for you to be able to even reach this place to where you're receiving this word you have that strength and maybe you needed that reminder that you do have that strength you are strong enough you are worthy enough you are beautiful enough so don't ever allow anybody to make you feel otherwise okay accept that gift receive that gift okay to be of high service because that's why you are here and that's why you're going through what you go through okay we are growing through what we go through okay what's the final message what is the final oh like, really they, like they trying to just come out with bare now because i said the final that like, they don't like the word final okay let's see what's the final one what's the final message what's the final message please the right spirit holy spirit please give me the final message I guess I might have to come back with a second video the way these the way these cards are going. Okay, it says, let me be still today and listen to the truth in silence. Let me be still today and listen to the truth in silence. I feel like this is speaking about you going out to ground your energy, go into a body of water, go into a place to whereby you'll be able to meditate and contemplate and just look and even just sitting down in silence before you go to bed and just taking in that moment for you to know that you have so much to be grateful for health 
even you may your finances may not be where they where you want them to be at this precise moment but sorry guys yeah your finances may not be where you want them to be at this precise moment but regardless of anything you are you have a roof over your head you've got clothes on your back you're able to eat food okay you may not be able to spend the way that you want to spend but you have money that you're able to pay your bills you have money that you're able to do whatever it is that you need to do now's the time for you to be still and be in that gratitude receive like be within that state of gratitude and remind yourself of all that you've overcome for you to now realize that where i am now you know what i have so much to be grateful for i know where i've been and this is where i am now and i'm so much better than where i was okay so now is the time to be still get into that meditation get into that self-care get into that bath run you a uh, uh, get you a bath bomb whatever it is that you need to do okay do it and finally we have my genuine desire to serve clears the path for me to step into my purpose my genuine desire to serve clears the path for me to step into my purpose okay shout out to all the overgivers. shout out to all of the people that are genuine that just want to see people happy because you know what it's like to not be happy this is for you okay all of that genuine desires don't feel bad for being who you are don't feel bad for having that act of service feel good that you are coming into a time where you're going to align with the people that appreciate everything that you are everything that you bring to the table that when god prepares that table for you that the right people are going to be sitting at that table with you okay so i hope that you guys have enjoyed this as much as i have i am sending out love and light peace and blessings to you thank you so much for vibing with me and if you enjoyed this and if this resonated in any type of way please drop a comment below and like share and subscribe peace and blessings